I was afraid that the tomato seeds that I saved from last year weren't going to necessarily sprout because I didn't save them using the fermentation method. And now look at what we have here. <laughs> we have we have some overly crowded tomato soil blocks because I generously put in all my seeds. There's probably about like five to eight seeds per soil block. And I have to thin them because I really wasn't confident that they would germinate because I read online that you had to use the fermentation method to save your tomato seeds. And it doesn't look like it is absolutely necessary. All I did to save my tomato seeds in this circumstance was literally just cut open the tomato, take the seeds out, strain them in a mesh strainer, and then I put them on a paper towel to dry, and then in the packet they went. And here we are. We have all of our tomatoes growing once again for year two. I usually bottom water the seedlings with the soil blocks, but sometimes, you know, when you have a good day, lots of sun, good airflow, it's good to water them from the top so that they get some exercise from the droplings. It is still April 1st and I'm excited to say that I plant. I just got inside from planting a whole bunch of seeds. These, these are the ones that I planted. So I did some cilantro, fava beans. I'm super excited for these. I didn't plant them all because now I can save some for a fall planting if, you know, anything goes wrong. I got these cosmic purple carrots that I planted just out back here. Um, these carrots. Planted some peas out back as well. Did some kohlrabi in the big garden. Did uh, this mustard in the big garden. This in the big garden. Charred this kale and spinach out in the garden. So we got all of those planted today. Super excited about that. Yesterday I did the soil blocks with some purple bok choy, um, chijim sai, maizuna mustard as well, and also this one. So I have soil block succession of these planted yesterday, and I just direct sowed them. It would be cool to see when, like what sprouts when, like will the garden sprout at the same time as my indoor soil blocks, or my soil blocks sprout before the ones out in the garden. That would be kind of pretty interesting to see which one sprouts when. I'm sure it would differ among plants and the temperature that they tolerate. So 